So you find that Islam, no doubt, has a lot of discussions on sexual ethics, on sexual desires, on the dangers of our sexual desires. If a person allows the animal in them to take over the divine spirit that God has breathed into them, then there's no limit to where these sexual desires can take you. And there's no limit to the destruction that can be caused because of these sexual desires. There is absolutely no limit. I always remember, for example, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his family talking about how the, the worst of the killers of the ancients was the killer of the camel of Prophet Saleh. Mm. And the worst of the killers of the latter, he said, will be the killer of Ali ibn Abi Talib. And you witness both of them end up killing this prophet known as Saleh or this saint known as Ali. They kill them because their sexual desires had such an overload that they've been promised that it will be fulfilled if they kill another human being. The prophet Yahya, John the Baptist, was killed because of a king who had an overflow of sexual desire, wanting to marry his niece, knowing it's not permissible, getting the law through, knowing the only person who was going to get in the way was Prophet Yahya salam, and he found a way in which he wanted Yahya killed. So we've witnessed in history how the overflow of sexual desires, if it's not controlled, can cause destruction in society.